Now let's talk about little bit about uh, sequential components. So for the sequential timing arc, we will discuss in detail later on. Uh, after we will discuss uh, setup, hold, or the timing check, and after that we will discuss. But what I want to highlight here is like this is a flip flop in FF one, and in FF one the clock is an input pin and D is an input pin, but in a sequential circuit, most of uh, our operation happen with respect to clock signal. Few of the few of uh, our operation happen on the basis of set and the reset pin. So the timing arc, the timing information, which is important, that is with respect to the clock or with respect to the set or the reset pin. So set and the reset, these two are input. D is also input, clock is also input, Q is output, and if in this circuit there is no Q bar, if the Q bar is there, then the Q bar is also output. So all the input and output, you can easily say like, okay, there should be a timing arc between clock to Q, between clock to ST, clock to reset, but uh, ST and the reset, uh, set and the reset, these are input pin. But again, they have a certain relationship with respect to clock. And uh, that's the reason uh, there are uh, different type of arcs. And it's not only the input and output, there are certain arcs between the input to input also. Like here you can say there is a setup and a whole arc which is between clock and the D where both pin are input pin. The clock and the set or the clock and the reset, both are input pins, but the timing arc, uh, we usually say it's a recovery removal timing arc. When we are talking about clock to Q, then whatever we have discussed in a combination logic, like one is the input, another is the output, then we can uh, that is a clock to Q output. Similarly, set to Q and reset to Q, there are two other timing arc, and those are between input and output pin. So the way we are going to define these timing arc in the dot lib files or the liberty files or the lab after the library characterization that's going to be different and uh, there uh, we will not discuss in terms of the uniqueness so if i will say clock to q or clock to d we will say like okay there are there are timing arc but it's not uh, about the uniqueness so because uniqueness is between input and output but when we are uh, when when we are talking about the timing arc, so these are different type of timing arc in a flip flop, and few of the timing arc which is between input and input, there is uh, there is no property uh, like uniqueness. So th there the proper name of the property or the the property may be different, or you can say the parameter is going to be different. In a case of a combinational circuit, the timing arc is between input and output pin. In case of sequential circuit, the timing arc can be between input and input pin. Now, if there is a timing arc between input pin and an input pin, then there may be some other property. Like here you can see setup and a hold or maybe recovery and the removal. And here if you will see there is a negative trigger, I can say setup falling, setup rising hold falling hold rising so i can define in that particular way all these things we will discuss later on once uh, uh, you will be able to understand like okay what is this uh, what is the setup what is the hold but it's a general timing arc in case of a sequential component now let me show you maybe uh, like uh, uh, i'm discussing a lot about like these timing arc and all uh, all these things in our dot lib file so at least if i if i can show you the dot lib file and how these properties are defined in the dot lib file then that's going to help you to understand the uh, how you know, we are defining these uh, uniqueness concept or these timing arc and how the different syntax are like our uh, facebook page youtube channel for more such updates Thank you for watching. Be expert, buy expert. Best of luck.